What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, today, I got a fellow looters prelude in the bay, and we squatted up today. So, um, this is a 96, uh, is it an SE? Or no? BB1, baby. BB1, okay. VTEC. And, uh, you know this guy, right? You guys remember him? What's good? That's Lou, my boy Lou. That's the, the rare Mugen owner. And, uh, I want to say something about the other joint right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, so, uh, we got this, we got this prelude in here, and we're gonna, um, pretty much go ahead and, and, uh, replace the OEM headlights. So, we're gonna take these out of here. Um, I think I'm gonna make this a tutorial on how to take out your headlights and take off your bumper. So, stay tuned. Alright, here we have it. So, one of the subscribers on the channel um, wanted his headlights done, like I had in a previous video. Uh, matter of fact, uh, if you want to see the tutorial on how I put the halo rings in here, like a full breakdown, uh, go to the uh, the link in the description below. I have a full tutorial on how to show you how to do everything. So at this time, I'm, I'm not really going to be showing you step by step just prior to finished product. But yeah, I got these, man. Um, he came to the shop and dropped them off. It's pretty much the exact same ones I have. Literally the exact same depots I have. And then uh, we're gonna put some halo rings in there and uh, then install them for them. Brand new headlights like me. Um, first thing you're gonna have to do is remove the headlights from the car. Uh, I'm not gonna really get into that. This is more so headlights so. Negative. First thing you do is watch your own video on how to retrofit your headlights. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um, if you're watching this and uh, you're interested in, you know, getting your own or kind of making your own uh, retrofitted halo ring uh, headlights, I literally have a video on it, a whole tutorial. So. I'll have a link to this video in the uh, description below. Oh yeah, while I got you guys, one more thing. For all my new subscribers that don't know, I am on Instagram. Uh, it can be a little confusing. I do have two Instagram pages. One is my business page, which is MR Dips. So if you're more interested in like the paint aspect of what I do, more shop related stuff that's not really prelude specific, then check that out. But hey, if you want that prelude stuff, you know what I'm saying? Go hit up Bag Tray 5, which is where I post all of my prelude stuff. So yeah, go ahead and uh Go, just pause the video and just, just go follow me right now. You might as well. You got your phone in your hand. I'll wait. You still here? Nah, nah, not you. You already, you're already following me. I'm talking about that dude. What you, what are you waiting for? I'm going to wait here until you go follow me. All right, bet you back. All right, cool. So now uh, is we're playing a waiting game. So until the next clip will probably be uh, the customer slash subscriber is gonna come for me to install the lights. So I'll see you then. All right, so if your car is OEM, you're definitely gonna wanna jack the car up, get it on jack stands because there's gonna be a bunch of clips underneath that you're gonna have to take off. It'll be a lot easier if the car is in the air. So that's step one. All right, so when it comes to taking off the bumper, uh, there's two ways you can do it. Um, the way I usually do it would be normally I take the bumper, the plastic bumper off, and to get the headlights out, you actually have to take the core support out. But there is, since we have the Mugen Master, there is a way to pull. There is a way to pull um, the core support and the actual bumper cover off at the same time. So I'm gonna let him explain that. This is an OG trick. The cover itself is attached to the to the the bumper support. You're gonna have all the clips underneath your headlight, 
it's, that it's your bumper cover on the support. So you can't really get to those at all. Now the way to take this whole thing off as one piece, over in the fender liner, you're gonna take that screw off on both sides of the car. Your lenses, your signals, you're gonna take these off. Okay, you got a screw here and a screw in here in order to take these out. Once you take these off, you're gonna have you're gonna see the bumper support, uh, the bracket where there's two 14 millimeter bolts, one on each side. Same thing on that side. Once you unbolt those, you got the screws off from the fender lining. There's two 12 millimeter bolts on the inside. You got one over here and one on this side. The one on this side is gonna be a little tougher to take off. The one on the passenger side, you're gonna have to probably take your battery off to really get good, you know, to really get in there to take that one off. Cause it's like, it's like right here. It's also by an AC line, so it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to get to. But once you take those all off, you're also gonna, your nostrils are bolted over to this little bracket of the headlight. So you're gonna have to unscrew this. You're gonna have to take this off here. And once that's all said and done, it literally just slides right off. It's one piece with the nostrils still on the bumper and everything. So we're gonna show you all that in fast motion. So you saw it, you saw it explained and in fast motion. So there you go. So I, I've personally never done it this way before, but I see why the master Lou Mugen, you know what I'm saying? I see why he does it that way. Cause it's, it's cleaner. And plus like uh, a lot of people have issues with these clips right here. And they, if you do it my way, a lot of times personally, I just break them. But to have the option to not have them broken, um, this is how you do it. So the actual, Oh, so this is how it's supposed to look. You had those clips in there. So when you pull it out, if this thing will focus, what in the world? So yeah, basically, uh, if you do it this way, you can save those little clips. And they won't be broken. Opposed to like this side. Oh, this side, they're already broken. Which is no problem with that, but like I said, yeah. yeah, you can get replacements. But this is how you would do it. I guess, is, you think this is how they used to do it back in the day? Yeah. And the, from the dealership? Yeah, show them how now it's easier to access your headlights. All right, so when you get to this point and you got the bumper off, there's about five uh, 10 millimeter bolts that you're gonna have to take off to, to take the uh, headlight out. So you got one here, one here. You have, well this one's actually gone. You have one right here normally. You go underneath. You actually have, I'm sorry, you actually got one right here. And then once you loosen all those 10 millimeter bolts and take those out, your headlight will slide right out.
Oh yeah. That draw look good. It's crazy what a mod like that, just having new headlights and some halos would do to the car. I always drive with mine on in the daytime. I use them as running lights. So what you think, Mike? You made the right decision? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't regret it. I love it. That's what's up. Got my boy Tevin here. We about to, you know what I'm saying? People, at, people ask about your loot all the time, bro. Hey, don't stay tuned. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> worry about we'll go out there and look at that's it real it, quick. That's it. Yeah. So, pretty much now, all we got to do is um, put the bumper back on. Obviously, for that, just reverse engineer everything you did to take it off. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll come back when the bumper's back on. So there you have it. That's how you replace your headlights on your 1992 through 1996 Honda Prelude. And uh, hey, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see y'all on the next video where uh, we got some interesting stuff going on. So oh! <laughs> Start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.